Hey all, thanks for coming back for week two of Universal Studios Monsters Month here on Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. Last week we saw Donatello and his Dracula duds, but in this episode we'll be visiting with the dolt with the bolts who conducts the vaults, Mike as Frankenstein. I know what you're thinking, and yes, it is kind of an annoying inaccuracy that Michelangelo is called Mike as Frankenstein when he's clearly dressed as Frankenstein's monster. But it's the official name of the figure, so we might as well get over it. Now that we're past the improper appellation, Mike has done a fantastic job with his Frankenstein's monster fancy dress. He's got a cylindrical Karloffish cranium with black hair. Just like the monster from the movie, Mike has bolts jutting out of his neck, elbows, knees, and ankles. His black boots must be made of tougher material, as his drab gray coat and slacks are tattered and torn. Through the tears, you can see Mike's shell and some of the many stitches all over his body. Now, even though he's fiended up, we're still fooling with our frivolous friend Michelangelo, which of course means he's got on his custom orange bandana, elbow pads, and knee pads. Mike as Frankenstein is no more or less dynamic than most other TMNT figures, with a total of seven working joints. I'm actually most fond of his posture, though. He's pretty easy to stand up, he's got the hulking hunchback look going on, and in my opinion, he's got the perfect arm-reaching positioning to give him that classic Frankenstein's monster look. Needless to say, Mike as Frankenstein comes with an assortment of inane accessories, all of which are appropriate to this edition of Mikey. Check out the bolt-handed nunchaku, which are simply a pair of Mike's chucks with Frankenstein-style bolts replacing the normal handles. The pain chain shackle is also a really cool component. Its clamp hooks onto Mike's ankle and connects to a chunk of wall, giving the appearance of busting out of a mad creator's laboratory. There's also the beastly beaker, which appears to be brimming over with some bodacious brew, and the flaming torch club, because hey, if you're going to bludgeon someone, why not light your stick on fire first? While Mike as Frankenstein also has the glow-in-the-dark feature, it's not quite as effective as Don's from last week. This is because it's all the small and sparse places like his bolts and stitches are where he theoretically lights up, as opposed to any bigger glowing areas. And there you have Mike as Frankenstein, who is sure to score copious amounts of candy with his creepy costume. If you've got any thoughts of your own to share on Frank and Mikey, then by all means, join our crazy cool community by signing up for the forums at www.popculturenetwork.com. And the fun doesn't stop with TMNT, either. Pop Culture Network is home to videos, podcasts, and articles covering other toys, comics, video games, wrestling, and so much more. Next time you get the itch for a little leisure spending, click that store button on the Pop Culture Network main page and take a look at everything in stock. I promise you'll find plenty of stuff that you know you can't live without. If you like what we're up to here at Pop Culture Network, know that every purchase you make from the store helps keep this spectacular site going. Come back next Monday for Universal Studios Monster Month Week 3 here on Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk. If you dare. But in the meantime, chase away your fears by watching older installments at www.radicalretro.com. Stay rad, friends. Mm -hmm.